got a bit bored. I've done lots of stuff today. So I thought I would pull this Electrolux Filter 1600 watts from the back of Mr. Hooverlux's to do pile. And we'll have a look at it and see what its problem is. My vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Today we are going to have a look at an Electrolux Filter vacuum cleaner and you and I are seeing this thing for the first time. I have not done anything with it, I've never had one before, I've never seen one before. We have a Z2274 from date unknown, but I think it's from the early 2000s. Let's have a look at its undercarriage. It wow, has an absolutely filthy brush fob full of hair. So we'll have a look at that. It is disgustingly dirty, has a bit of a lean on it. There's no tools bar this hose, but that's not the end of the world. And there's no bag. In it either. So this will be fun, won't it? Let's see what we can do to this in half an hour. But the first thing we need to do really is see if it runs. If it doesn't then, well, we're not going to carry on really. Where's the on-off switch? There it is. So that runs and runs very well, which is nice. What I really want to do first is take the handle off so we can all come a bit closer and see everything. But I don't know how the handle fits on. As in, I can't, there's no screws in it, it's not fully on anyway, really. There's certainly no big handle screw that I can see. Mm -hmm. um, unless it's held on with this part here, if I can just find an appropriate screwdriver. Missing, but we can cover that up. Well, there we go. Uh, it was held on with the top screw. Marvellous. That's a bit broken. But luckily, here's the missing piece. Right, we can come in a bit now and actually see what's going on. Here we go then. So, we're going to pop that to one side for just a second. And actually look at the handle, because if I can glue these two pieces on early enough, by the time we come to need it, it might be done. So I have Henry here. My Henry who is guesting for us today. back over there because I want to clean up the plastic so that the glue has a better chance of taking as it were because I had the pieces here and they do sit on utterly fine this is a clean break so 
I'm wondering if Mr. Hoover Lux has any glue. I'm sure he does, because he showed it to me. But I now can't find it. Probably not knowing where anything is. So obviously this is not my place. This is, I am guessing, unless you wait for him to come home and he can find his glue and, sh and glue it up for us. Maybe we should do that. I think we should. We'll give this a wipe down. And we'll move on just because we may as well faff around a bit later on with the glue. I'm here for a while, so we've got plenty of time, so I don't actually know where it is to be able to really just grab it. I mean, is it down here? No. Is it in here? No. Oh, there's, there, there is a hot glue gun, but that's not going to be strong enough. Ah, here it is. Gorilla glue. I've never tried Gorilla glue before. Neither Mr. Hoover does, I don't think. I mean, I presume it's... Why can I glue? Yep, it's open. I did spot a very small pair of pliers, which I now want to find. Just to help, here we are, just to help hold this small piece of plastic in place, which I have now mislaid. There it is. So we'll do the big piece first. In theory, what does it say to do? Um, directions. Ah. Open here. You're not opening here, are you? Come on. Danger, oh we like danger. Ah, it's about a thin layer of glue on one surface. And then lightly dampen the other surface. And they say grip it together, but I don't think we need to really grip it, we just need to stick it on really, so we'll stick a light layer of glue. See this surface, it does lightly dampen the other one. So I'll give it a small lick because that makes it damp. And then it's really just a question of being able to hold it on enough to let it sit and go off. I might have to hold it for a couple of seconds here. That's on because you can see it squeezing out of the joint. I can't hold this bit of plastic well enough. Come on. I want to let it go. There we go. That's got it. So that is on. Now we just need to wait a couple of hours for it to dry. Let's see if we can do the other side. not going to be much pressure on this per se once it's on. It's not going to have a hard though. That's it. Ah, that's it. Done. There we go. So both sides are now glued on in place. We shall pop that over here by the wall of Dyson's behind us. Put the lid back on this glue. We'll just put the glue back. So we know where it is, and I'll have a slurp of tea from Mr. Hoover Lux's heavy mug. We should move on and give this back door a bit of a vacuum out. A bit 
bits of emulsion paint. Here, and the good thing about emulsion paint is that you can, very very gently, so you don't scratch the plastic, scrape it off, and it, it just turns to dust. Very nicely indeed. And then we can wipe everything else down. Give it a bit of a polish, maybe later, but we'll get the dirt off. First and foremost, then we'll make it look pretty once we know it's worth it. Maybe it's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. It's not born with anything. This this is a this is a Chinese or Amer oh, ooh, it might be American, you know. I think you can get that out of it because Lux and etc. were Americans. That is now clean, if not polished to any sort of perfection. So let's pop that over here out of the way and move on and bring the machine back over. And while we got this in our hands, the hose holder, we'll give it a wipe down. And I can pop it and its screws somewhere safe until it's time to go back together because I don't have any screw cards on me. And I like these screw cards. I know where I am with screw cards. So we should have to make do with just putting the screws back in from whence they came. Now I should get the pliers and put out the free motor filter which is very dirty indeed. In fact while we're in here we'll have the bag fill tube out because it comes out with two little screws you see which is quite nice of it. There we go. Three little screws sorry. My mistake because there's a third up here. As you can see, that is very, very dirty indeed. Right, back out with me, Henry. In fact, we'll probably sit Henry here and it will still be slightly in shock. But look at that nice vintage Henry who is helping us today now that I've put or rebuilt the motor on it. It is from October 2005. So I was only slightly wrong when I said late 90s because it's just early 2000s. Ow! Keep catching my finger on this. I mean, the whole thing could do with being stripped down and washed, but I don't know how much Mr. Hoover has actually loved it considering how far back it was. One just doesn't know. There we go, that's tidied it up a little bit anyway. We'll give this a wipe down. There we go. That will do. In fact, it's quite handy that that is out like that because we can now go through the wall of bags and see if we can find something that fits it. Oh, this Hoover H, what have we got here? H60 is just a little bit too small, so we can't use the Hoover H60. 
Wow, he's got empty them. Ah. That's a good shout. Ooh, the Luma Pure Power is too big. So we can't use the Hoover Pure Power. What is this? Arm and Hammer Deodorizer bag, is that it? Right. This my bag collection looks terrible. Too big, whatever that is. This is for Hoover Wind Tunnel. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I haven't seen that. Pure power, pure power, let's try a HEPA flow. Oh, look at that, fits perfectly. <laughs> Always go for the HEPA flow first, folks. Always go for the HEPA flow first. So we'll put that over there, ready for in a minute. And we'll give the side a bit of a wipe down while we have it so easily accessible. filthy disgusting seals off and that will probably do us for now as we oh I've got the cable caught under Henry down the other way we'll need Henry in a second because we're going to take off the belt oh no wait the filter wants to come out Look at the state of that. Well, this is one unsavable thought, so I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to bother. We'll try and give it a vacuum. <laughs> to live in fact that's just falling off so we need to find something else to replace this with at some point because it's not really going to be worth buying a new filter for it unless they're cheaper than I imagine they are so we'll empty it out and in theory we can find something else to go in its place Possibly. Maybe. Where's that standing knife that I keep putting away? Why do I keep putting things away? Stupid eyes. Right, let's get all of this out so bits don't come flying out of the vacuum when it's on and causing a bit of a mess there we go possibly come on Well, we can safely say that that is not clogged up 
anymore. Think about something to do that with later. Now, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? Now, I'm going to see about just taking this hose off because it is mightily annoying having it flopping around but I don't think it is going to remove itself terribly easily so I might have to leave that and stick it over the front smash wow and have a look at this base plate which is utterly well, it's not the base plane really, is it? It's the brush line, which is utterly, utterly disgusting. I don't... Ah, this... Ah, I might be doing this wrong. I think this is one of those machines where the hood comes up and off. It is. Right. Let's rescue the screws. Use my phone so I don't smash the screen. Ooh, well there's the belt. This is a replacement belt anyway. Here is the brush roll itself. Which spins freely to its credit. Oh there's a bit of broken plastic there. Don't know where that goes though. Oh I do. Ooh. Ah. Oh dear, so yeah, this, this, this is quite broken. This piece of plastic is why the thing doesn't really sit properly. It should sit in there. We might see if we can use this fancy Gorilla Glue to do something with that. I'm not going to do too much internally on this just because it's not quite worth it. Its owner can do that if its owner wants to. We'll give it a bit of a wipe down outside, perhaps, and pop this over here where Henry once stood. Same with the height adjustment knob that can go over there. Ooh, what have we got here then? Lots and lots of detritus. take off the pivot points because I want to see what the state of the damage is on the motor housing. So I'll have these off. Let's give a bit of a clean up. They are disgusting. This obviously hasn't been very well loved in its life. I don't know where we got it from. Go on to put those there. Three and four. Come on, there we go, there you are. We might have to move this hose as well to truly get. And then this should just lift off. Oh, I'm not sure how this will work. Okay, that'll do you. That's got you. Put that there. 
Oh dear, this is the damage. All of that should be a circle like that and it's not and there's no other bits of plastic anywhere. <gasps> there it is, here it is. Oh wow, all right. Come on Gorilla Glue, this is your test. So I have all the broken bits of plastic there. So we'll clean this up. Let's give it a fair chance. In fact, before we glue it, let's have the motor apart and just check it's not silted up inside. Because I don't want to take it all apart again. Once we've glued it, to check. So I'll pop those there. Motor housing is these four screws here. This is exactly the same. Our screwdriver is horrible. I'm sorry, hang on. It's terrible. It keeps wobbling around. It's exactly the same as the Electrolux Cyclone lights. This part, anyway. Exactly the same. Which is nice. Two. Three. And four. This will just lift off and reveal a little motor, which is not actually too bad. What is this? This is a foreign job. Oh, that's not. If I was being cynical, I would say that's not in the first flush of youth. That is not too bad either. The fan is passable, we're not getting into washing the fan. Let's just give it a dust. <laughs> Didn't want to be all full of fluff inside and we miss it. You see. So now we've done that, it's a lot better. We'll give this a wipe down. This will be wet at some point. Very damp. Indeed. Back in. Best check on the handle is so uh, well that's not a great sign, I'll be honest. Because both bits of plastic have fallen off already. Considering that we want to use this glue to glue on a slightly more critical piece than these trims, that is not fabulous news. I'll be honest, not don't want to see that. I did say we had to put pressure on it, so maybe we'll tape these bits on. And see if it's any better. Oh. Caught the, there we go, caught the back door seal. I didn't really want to do. But now it's okay. Right.
back out with the Gorilla Glue, which I now am not loving quite as much. Oh, where's that roll of tape? Here we go. We do have some bit of tape, so I think we're going to tape all this down now. And see if that peps it up a bit. So there we go. See, this isn't even going on quite right either. When well, it's broken, it's twisted. the other side's coming off as well. No. I think there's going to be a premature end to this particular video because we've got to glue up this side as well. Now. Uh, we'll try the Gorilla Tape it says to try. All we can do is try, isn't it, folks? But I'm not really that convinced that this is going to last five seconds. Well, it's all back together. Call me cynical, but it's just not. some tape off first now. So Gorilla Glue Corporation, it is time to do your thing. So I've never used Gorilla products before and I can't say I'm holding out any hope at all this is going to actually do anything but we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens I'm going to leave this all right here and come back in a couple of hours I think it's a couple of hours anyway yep one to two hours and we'll see how we go So about an hour has passed, and to help the Gorilla glue, and because it wasn't really being as innocent as I'd like, I have filled it with hot glue, and now it is roughly round, and with a little bit of grease on reassembly, we might just get away with this one. So before we get everything back together, let's just give everything a bit of a wipe down not down the nuts because I really don't think that the pair is going to hold for any proper length of time we might be able to get a quick go out of it but I don't know what we need to do is this lovely lovely brush roll now underneath the end caps are actually fine we'll have them off anyway There we go. And then we need to get our knife and cut everything off. Let me see. One, this has not been looked after. 
well, not worth looking after, let's be completely honest. It is just a pretty terrible electric up, but hey ho. These brush rods fit a lot of other machines, so if this does scrap itself, I'll tell Dory to keep it because these fit everything. I've got a brand new one of these in the shed that I've had literally forever. And one day I'll fit it to something. One day I'll get something that's worth having it. Handful so far has <laughs> come off. We'll get the worst off and then we'll just spend a couple of minutes with the back of the knife. Let's let him eat this up. Mm -hmm. We tease all of this out. Because it's so massive, it is coming out quite nicely. Should be quite a, you know, okayish cleaner. When it is back together, it should be quite fierce. This brush roll is very long, and very stiff. And once all the bristles are no longer matted together, it should be all right, you know. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be. You've just got to be careful now of the. I'm not even going to call it a pair, it is a bodge, but apparently it's quite common. Mr. George from AEG123, I was chatting to him literally whilst I was just having a quick drink before I carried on filming, and he said it, it's such a common thing on these. It's probably one that's not really left. So if you do ever get one of these to collect or to use, or you know, see it cheap, double check that it is all okay. So I'll be honest, it does write them off. If I couldn't, if all those bits weren't there, I would have even bothered. We've just ended the video. We tried and failed. Job done. But we might have hope yet. And then done. Not long now, it's just the edge bits now, which will be terrible because. The edges always get worse than the insides because they catch things first, generally. Mm. 
Oh, the bearings are superb, so they're fine with bearings. What we need to do now, I suppose, is start putting it back together. And to start with, I'm actually going to get the piece out and absolutely slather these pivot points in the stuff. Spoon this on we're going to. Because this is going to need all the help it can get. I'm sure we don't have access to any different washers because I was even suggesting to space out. We'll do the other side as well just because. Although it's okay now. This brush is actually pretty terrible. My fingers are getting more greasy. No man. I don't know. Well, there's nothing we can do about it but try, isn't there? Could all be in vain or Mr. Dorian can have another vacuum cleaner for his eclectic collection. Oh, I've been waiting for the crunch, that's why I filled the middle with hot glue. Because the middle will now provide the strength. I'll be honest, before the hot glue dried, I was going to fill it with something else I found. I found a load of gutter sealant. But because the hot glue went off quite well, I didn't bother. This is the moment of truth. Why is that not going up right? What have I done? You know what we haven't done actually? We haven't put the internal hose back on. Jamming, Every time you do that, it wants to lift up. Let's have it back off. Maybe that's why it shattered in the first place. It's just not a happy little chappy. That's covered in grease, but we do need to take it back off again anyway to put this hose back on, which I did completely forget about. So we'll give it a go. Worst case, it just won't stand up, but we should be able to get a use out of it. But hey, though, I see no reason why it shouldn't be okay. Again. Well, I think it was the screw that was wrong anyway, so I think we should ignore it for now. Things won't happen. And everything will be okay. some semblance of being straight. And then this part locks it into place. Marvellous. Now we can put this bit in. And let's start it from that part. That is that. It does go down, doesn't it? 
is it trying to lift itself? Why is it trying to lift itself? The Gorilla Glue. The Gorilla Glue is going to fail. It's only going to fail. So we'll have you off because you're not going to help anybody. I'm still not 100% convinced that that is the problem. Right, so we're It tries to lift, I don't think we're going to handle this now, I think I'm going to crack it up properly once and that's going to be it. I'm going to go smash and be broken once more. We shall see, we put the screws on this side properly. We'll do them a little bit more on this side. I'm trying to do them pretty tight. Let's leave that one loose. Ah! That seems to be happy. Right, it's happier with this front one being a little bit loose. So we should make this front one a little bit loose. And see if it provides the slack it likes to do what it needs to do. So we'll pop you back down now. You horrible thing. And I now need to go through Mr. Hooverlux's box of random belts. I think I've just found one anyway. That's close enough. Simple. Bear with, we get this side in first, so it sits there quite happily. Is it a backwards angle? Oh, there we go. Marvellous. There we go. One pretty belt. We'll pop the hood back on. No, we won't. We'll pop the belt. The Furniture guard back on. <laughs> and now we'll pop the hood back on. That's better. Come on. Don't make me look like a fool. I know we all know I am, but don't make it. Oh, this bit fell on the floor. 
and we'll leave that bit in a sec. Put its two screws in. Screwdriver for the job is the wrong size. It's too fat for these heads and those doing the job. I think before we go too much further, we'll leave this at this angle so you can see. Push out the wire. And we'll just turn it on and check it does spin. Yeah. Marvellous. Cables come out of the top of the house. But that's okay. We need to put the one proper screw in to this hose holder. I do have the other one that went to the other side. So we may as well sit that in as well. Notice he's a flat head of a completely different style, but it's there and it's doing the job okay. Now, hopefully, yes, it does stand up. Wow. Alright, we're on to our winner here, guys. We put the cleaned up. Free filter in, which hopefully isn't too needed now anyway. Put the little stumpy bag full bag fill tube in, that's what I'm really looking for. It's a guide. It needs to be so we can see how much the handle won't fit on. I don't trust that gorilla over. I think you need to be able to really clamp it, which we can't do. Well, that's better. That's not ginking the cable as much. bit went up through here like that now that's the top ah so that top screw is for the handle everything else is just for this part here I see It'll be fine. Done. Mm, thumbs. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Right, I think that's done it. Let's put this curve before it changes its mind. find the customer helpline and see if we can't find ourselves a new handle for it. 08706 055 It's ringing. This number has now changed. Please redial on 03445 Oh, um, I don't have a pen. 
Let me go find a pen, hang on. I'll write this number there. I have a pen. This number has now changed. Please redial on 03445 614614. That's 03445 614614. Electrolux is GDPR compliant and will handle consumer personal data according to the EU data protection regulations. Oh, good. Yeah. For more information, you're not even in the UK, do you? Yeah. Alicia, I was wondering if you could hold me, I'm looking for a handle for my vacuum cleaner. Okay, do you have the product number of the appliance? I do, yes, it's Z2274. It'll start with the number 9, it'll say product of the NC number. Ah, so yeah, 900 251 896. Alright, and you want the handle? Yeah, I'll just try to see if, how much it is, see if it's worth buying one or not. at all. Not available unfortunately. Fair enough. Alright, thank you for looking. No problem, thank All you. Alright, cheers, bye bye. Bye. Well unfortunately Mr Dorian you have to hope that this handle repair stays still and I'll be honest, it means that we're not going to have any parts down here. So I'm going to go away now and clean this up as best as I can with this mother's plastic polish. And then we'll come back and do a little bit of an after video and see how it looks. Some time later, we have this. It is very, very good actually. It has come up, try and find some lighting to reflect it from. Very, very shiny. Obviously underneath isn't perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect. It is what it is. All that remains now is to see what the owner thinks and he's due home in a minute so I'm going to hide it, bring him in here and let him have the first go.
He's home! Hey! hey. Everybody! Good. I've done my long six hours. Good day at the office, dear? It was. Excellent. Yes. You don't know what we've been doing. No, I have absolutely no idea at all and you what's can... been going on. Oh, I can see. Okay, never That's just there for later. Uh, no, that's fine, because that's all about this. What it is, we've done a little bit of a refurbishment to the repair. Oh! Oh, it's all covered up as well in a cloth. Oh my god! Is it that <laughs> Oh my word! Yes! Look at this! This is the Electrolux filter! Yes! 1600 watts! Oh my god! It, it wow! Works. You have to treat the recline mechanism like a knack of pure power though. Oh right, yeah. okay. Exercise caution with that part. However, oh my god, wow that looks amazing! It's come up really well! Hasn't it ever? Look at it! If I just point that down, there we go! Boys Look and girls can see that. there! Um, we haven't tested it yet! Oh my gosh! So you can have the inaugural turn on. Okay, here it goes. So this is the recliner, yeah. yes? Yeah, express pure power like, yeah, finesse with it. And then the, see the on and off switch is like on the wrong side. It's in the, it's exactly the same as the Lux, the back saver ones that you uh, can get. It's got the same sort of motor, the same sort of everything. Let's go, ready? In your own time, sir. Oh my gosh. It's not bad, is it? We found a belt in your box. Cross roll is incredibly strong. Yeah, there's loads of and it's yeah. really wide. We gave it a clean, yeah. Oh my gosh. And we have to float it as well. We, we I like that, we have to float it, I yeah. like that. We amended the filter because it was utterly trash. Ah, uh, yes. But you probably don't need one in there with that. No, not with that, um, not with that bag on there. So there we go. Oh my god, that just looks, I mean, this we had from... I think it was like the British Heart Foundation right. in Lincoln. Right. So it's been sitting there for ages because I refurbed one of these for a friend of mine last year mm -hmm. and I really, really did like it. I thought it was really good. Yes. So when I came across it, I think we only paid about 15 quid for it. I was like, oh wow, definitely, I'm going to pick uh, that up. Did you know what was wrong with it when you bought it? No. Ah! Didn't have a clue. Didn't wait for the video then. <laughs> so there we go. One happy customer. Oh my god, I think we need to do a test on it. Yeah, should we do a quick... Yeah, let's do a sand and bits should, test. Should we get Dora to put down his Mad About Mess? Yeah, let's put down some Mad About Mess and some sand and let's go and do a test. Hang on then. So I have put down some um, rice particles and some sand on the luxury carpet and the crap carpet just to see how it performs. So let's gently recline the handle and let's switch it on. Clean. You can see that it's groomed it as well, yeah, especially it has on the it's camera. Really groomed the thick carpet. Um, on the thin carpet, again, just a couple of grains hmm. um, of the sand. That's probably where it scattered good. it back around the brush roll, isn't it? Rather than yeah, exactly. Anything. That's excellent. But that just one flick. That's done really good. Right, let's pick up the rest. Fair enough. There's no soft start with this, is there? Yeah. <laughs>
sounds really good. Yes. And it's picked up everything. It is surprisingly good. Yes. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Excellent. So, so then, thank you. That is really cool. Thank you. Anytime. Mm. Thank you all for watching. And we shall see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.